Hi guys, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel again. This is Daniel Rose, the founder of DSR Ghostwriting. And a common objection that people have when they hear about thought leadership is they're thinking that thought leadership is an empty buzzword, that it really means nothing. And I created this video, or I'm creating this video, I should say, in order to contest that. Now, I've talked in other videos about what thought leadership is and how thought leadership differs from content marketing. But firstly, let's just get to the very, very uh, kernel of the issue that a lot of people are asking, and that's some some variation of is thought leadership BS? Does that actually mean anything? And let me just be straight and say that I am, as a thought leadership specialist, I specialize in working with clients, agencies, technologies, the whole lot of them, in order to uh, come up with and execute thought leadership campaigns. Yes, there is some thought leadership being put out there that is not particularly good and is not worthy of the title thought leadership. That doesn't, however, mean that all thought leadership is rubbish or that thought leadership as a field is rubbish. It's totally not true. And that's really what in this video I want to emphasize. So thought leadership, true thought leadership, you're looking at two essential qualities. You're looking at thinking on an issue that is original. So if you're coming out with um, reasons, I'm looking at a webcam here in front of me on my computer. Um, what are the, you know, what can you do with the webcam? Uh, what should you look for when you're buying a webcam? Well, guess what, guys? None of these topics, if you are um, a webcam manufacturer, are thought leadership. You're not really offering any insights into the whole idea of a webcam. Now, if on the that's that is content marketing. If on the other hand, you wanted to come out with some really interesting perspective based on your expertise um, about how webcams are going to change uh, the webcam industry as a result of the pandemic and new types of webcams coming onto the market and you had some research to back that up, well, guess what? That might be thought leadership. Um, so true thought leadership is a unique form versus content marketing. When people bracket thought leadership and content marketing into the exact same bucket and think they're the same thing, they're actually running the risk of putting out thought leadership that alienates their audience. And that's because effective thought leadership, there is an appetite in the market for true thought leadership. And this isn't just me saying this. If you read the Edelman LinkedIn B2B thought leadership impact study, you will see that there is an appetite and that a lot of people receiving thought leadership um, in terms of consumers are simply not satisfied by the type of material that they're getting. And why is that? It's because a lot of thought leadership is simply misbranded content marketing. So true thought leadership, you're looking at um, original thinking on an issue. A lot of thought leadership comes out of um, internal banks of case studies, um, internal data, and written by real experts that are able to discern trends um, and things that matter in an industry to people beyond those who might be buying the product. So uh, for true thought leadership, you're talking about ideally a sort of almost peer-to-peer -peer marketing exercise in which your true subject matter experts, your CTO who knows a lot about IoT has something really interesting to say about the industry. And that might be carried in a trade media publication, okay? So that's again, a real, a real kind of clear difference between thought leadership and content marketing. Thought leadership can be carried off-site in editorial publications. And that's because if thought leadership is being done well, it shouldn't really be that promotional. Um, it's almost unbranded. Um, and when that's con trying to get your typical piece of content marketing into an editorial publication would be a really, really tough ask because content marketing doesn't really have to uh, fit up to the same standard as thought leadership. And it can be a lot more promotional um, you know, it's typically lower down in the marketing funnel. Uh, you're trying to convert people into being customers pretty soon. So content marketing and thought leadership are not the same thing. Thought leadership is absolutely not rubbish, even if a lot of thought leadership being produced is rubbish. And it is totally, totally a real thing. And uh, it has definitely got benefits, both um, intangible benefits like improved brand awareness and tangible benefits like the fact that Edelman and LinkedIn found that thought leadership producers can command a premium for their product or service. If you're interested in learning how you or your organization can leverage thought leadership in order to stand out from the competition and tap into the benefits, then please feel free to check out my website. That's dsrghostwriting.com. 
dsrghostwriting.com. This is Daniel Rosell. Until the next episode.